वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स अगेन दिस इज मी विथ थर्ड और फोर्थ वॉट्स एवर ट्यूटोरियल क्लास नो इट्स जस्ट द सक्सेडिंग क्लास ऑफ दिस स्ट्रीट ऑफ ऑब्स इक्वेशन थिंग सो इन द लास्ट क्लास अंडर इन द लास्ट ट्यूटोरियल क्लास वी हैव सीन हाउ डू यू डिराइव दिस वेरी इक्वेशन दिस वेरी बिग फैट इक्वेशन ओके दिस मीन्स फोकसिंग या दिस बिग फैट इक्वेशन हैज बिन डिराइव इन द लास्ट ट्यूटोरियल नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिराइव दिस थिंग TC, what is TC? The critical time. Now let me refer to the graph which we have discussed. Yeah, it will be easier for you to understand. Now why are we so concerned about this critical time? This critical time. Why are we so concerned about? Because as you can see, in this very graph, there is a. Hang on, just yeah. In this very graph. the green color line takes a dip it hits the maximum low and then again it it increases in number so this point is a critical point is a it's a critical junction where it signifies the lowest dissolved oxygen content isn't it so this point is needed to be studied and it is also further needed to study when this point is hit suppose you are dumping say you are dumping waste material into a river at say for example 12 in the afternoon now will that critical point be reached at 1 pm or 2 pm or 3 pm that all completely depends on the water characteristics and exactly this is what we need to know the critical time when is the critical time being hit so this is all our discussion all about okay now if i turn the page and i have written a few things from the last day's discussion was still this and i have added this thing okay at t is equal to tc a point of inflection is achieved now do you remember what is point of inflection i have taught you i have told you about this point of inflection when i was like you know um, discussing hydrographs in uh, engineering hydrology do you, if you recall it you may know it now if you do not recall it i'm always here for you point of inflection is a point where the slope of any curve becomes zero now how do you define the slope of any curve becoming zero now consider this very point for example the slope of this line of of this curve is nothing but this isn't it in this this is the slope now this tangent which is nothing but like you know the slope of uh, sorry this line is nothing but the we, it denotes the slope at this very point hang on hang on there is a insect intruding in my room let me get rid of that yeah so the tangent at this point is parallel to this axis now any line which is parallel to x axis is having a slope zero isn't it so this point is known as point of inflection again you will face a point of inflection not over here but yes somewhere over here because as you can see the tangent at this very point is somewhere over here yahan par tangent hota aisa hota okay so this points where the tangent is parallel to the x axis is nothing but the point of inflection so at this very critical junction isn't it the point of inflection is reached and what is meant by point of inflection dd dt the slope of any line or any curve is at any instantaneous position is given by the term dd dt or dx dt since it is t over here so we are considering dd dt so dd dt of what of this d isn't it so we will just apply this concept in this formula in this very formula so we have to differentiate this and this will become is equal to zero because the slope the dd dt is actually zero at this point of inflection the slope is zero so differentiating this will give us zero therefore at time t is equal to but t is equal to tc point of inflection is actually therefore dd dt is equal to zero so just differentiate it or see d of ddt of sorry it's a big thing okay please do not lose your focus over here because we are dealing with very delicate terms and concentrating on what we have minus e to the power minus krt plus d not into e to the power minus krt is equal to co isn't it see ddt of this entire thing okay now you just differentiate the term see this is a constant so ddt won't affect this 
this isn't a constant because there is a term t and the, and there's a variable t and the variant is dt so this term will get differentiated similar is the case with this also because you have a t factor over here and also the same case over here so this term will be exempted let's see how does it look like so this is a constant kd into l naught by kr minus kd now what is ddt of this ddt of e to the power t will be e to the power t and ddt of e to the power minus kd will be just this minus kd constant where factor will come outside so minus kd into e to the power minus kdt similar is the case over here minus kr will come outside into e to the power minus krt and what in this case same d naught will be exempted ddt of this isn't it so minus kr into e to the power minus krt is equal to zero it's becoming clumsy let's go back to the i mean go to the next page okay focus yeah so how does the equation look like the equation exactly look like, looks like kt into l naught by kr minus kd c out here this becomes minus and this becomes plus so let's write this term first and this term second Nothing but focus again. Yeah. Kr into e to the minus Krt minus Kd into the minus Kdt. And what about this term? The d naught term. What about this term? As you can see over here, minus Kd Kr into d naught will become minus Kr d naught into e to the minus Kr. Focus. Yeah. Is equal to zero, isn't it? Is equal to zero, isn't? It? Or rather, is equal to zero. Ko, thora step jump karke. Ye equal is ko is ko is ko upper. Malab. I mean, this term has to be transferred to the other side. So why not we write down like this, the same thing. So this e equal to zero will be just omitted out. Now our main motive is to find out this t. Just find out, find, out, find out this t, okay. And one more thing which I forgot to mention. At t is equal to tc, these t's will no longer be any random t. It will become t suffix c. So every time just write down t suffix c, t suffix c. So this will be t suffix c and t suffix c. Whereas any d factor will become d naught. So if there is no d factor over, sorry, not, sorry, that is a different thing. D naught is, any d factor will become dc, okay. Anyway, so t c's are taken care of and there is nothing to take care of for it. For, okay? So similarly, this t c will become, t will become t c and this will also become t c. And this will also become TC. Now the main motive, the main motive is to find out this TC things, isn't it? So what I have to do, we have to just take these terms, TC terms to one side of the equation. That is all we have to do. Okay. Now, what I do is, I take this entire term. I take this entire term, okay? And I divide this term to this side. Now, why am I doing? In the next step, you will understand. Just divide this term to this, or this time, uh, I mean, take this term to this side. So it will be a division. Whatever is multiplicative over here will become divisive over here. So let's break it down step by step only by kr into kr minus kd e to the power minus krtc 
into Our main motive, I've been telling you, our main motive is to separate this TC factors. Now, as you, can, as you can see, here is one TC, here is one TC, and here is one TC. So, separation means this TC has to be contained in any one of these terms. And that is why I have divided it. Now, if you take these terms into this thing, inside this bracket, what happens is, just see the thing. KD into L naught by KR minus KD. See, these two factors will go inside. So, it's, and this is in divisive form. So, KR into e to the power minus KR TC by KR into e to the power minus KR TC. And out here will be KD into e to the power minus KD TC by kr into e to the power minus krtc is equal to t naught as usual now as you can see these two factors are the same so this will become one and you are left with tc only in this term so there are no other terms which are containing tc so it is very very it has become very very easy to separate out so just simplify this and take this. So let me just KD into L naught by KR minus KD. So this will become one minus KD by KR into e to the power. This minus this a d to the power a by e to the power b is nothing but a to the power a minus b. So minus KD TC minus of this thing minus krtc is equal to d naught isn't it or just you know just take this term take this entire term to the other side so whatever is multiplicative over here will become divisive over here that means whatever is a numerator over here will become denominator and whatever is a denominator will become numerator so just simplify and there is nothing left kd by kr into e to the power minus kdtc plus krtc is equal to d naught into kr minus kd by kd into l naught or simplify your heart's content just take kr minus kd common because tc is common in this case is equal to d naught by kd in sorry i'm writing it again okay i'm writing it in a good way into kr minus kd by kd same thing or take this on the other, take this on this side and take this on this side. So what will happen? KD <coughs> by KR into e to the power KR minus KD TC will be nothing but 1 minus D naught L naught into KR minus KD by KD. <coughs> Sorry. Or e to the power kr minus kd tc will be nothing but see this is multiplicative again this is a fraction so just take this fraction on the other side so whatever is numerator will become denominator whatever is denominator will become numerator so kr by kd into this entire thing isn't it minus t naught by l naught into kr minus kd by kd so if this is so e to the power suppose x is this 
then what would be x? It's nothing but. So therefore, taking log on both sides, putting it in different color. Taking log base e on both sides, we have is equal to ln log base e is nothing but ln of this very very big thing you do it step by step you will never forget it or tc is equal to 1 by kr minus kd into ln of kr by kd into 1 minus d naught l naught into kr minus kd by kd so this is the formulation for critical time period as per streeter phelps equation so if you need to find out what is the critical time period achieved this is the formula sometimes i'll tell you sometimes this factor kr by kd okay this kr by kd is taken as f it's a purification factor actually so if that is so then what will happen to this equation how will it look like it will just look like or this is what if this is how uh, if you take kr common now if you take kd common kd into f minus one into ln just i'm expressing the entire equation in terms of this f okay so kr by kd will become f what is wrong with this pen into huh, 1 minus t naught l naught and if you just put this kd or rather divide this thing then it will be kr kr minus k kr by kd minus kd by kd that means kr by kd minus 1 so kr by kd is nothing but f minus 1 so this is also another version of this formula okay so this is the formulation which you need to know okay this is the same otherwise also you can like it's nothing just express this kr by kd as f you will find out this thing okay so this is the critical time period as per the Streeter false equation which i have discussed right now i request you to please please go through it once it's a it's a, it's a strenuous thing it's a lengthy procedure it's not rocket science but yeah it is lengthy so and there are so many components over here and if you do not solve it like you know with concentration so it will be problematic problematic for you and also youtube is not uploading things in a very good resolution so it's up to you to take it and to understand it better so concentrate for this 15 to 20 minutes that will be all for the discussion okay so with this i end my discussion TC, Streeter Phelps, etc. Next, in the next I mean, tutorial, we will solve a numerical and we will see how we can apply this formula. Okay. Till then, have a nice time and take care.